Okay, so we are going to make a graham cracker chocolate chip cookie dough that is going to be the crust for our cheesecakes. So I got my recipe here. I got it doubled. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's going to make as far as a crust. So we got everything measured out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our flour and we're going to add our bacon soda. This is a half a teaspoon, so we're doubling it. So we're going to do a teaspoon of baking soda. Not baking powder, the cookies, we don't want them to rise. And we're going to add it to our flour. And we're just going to take a fork and mix that in. Alright, so we got that. That's the first thing. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to cream our butter and sugar. So we're going to take our butter that's already at room temperature. Drop our mixer down. I like to always lock it in place. Start it low. And we're going to start adding our packed brown sugar. We have to unpack that a little to get it to come out. Oh, I can't do this with one hand. Oh. Alright, so that's mixed up a little. I need a videographer. Alright, so we're going to put this in here. There we go. Alright. So we're going to clean that together. Let that mix. Then next we will add the eggs, the vanilla, and then we'll add the dry ingredients, which will be the flour and the uh, graham cracker crumbs. And then last, we'll get the chocolate chips. And this is kind of a wet dough. And um, we are going to par-bake the crust, which normally the cookies will, will cook for about 10 minutes. We're going to cook the dough for about 3 minutes, just enough to get it started. Um, and then we're going to put the cheesecake stuff in there. Um, I've got parchment paper in the bottom. After... I make the crust and put it in the snap form pans. I'm going to put those in the refrigerator till the cheesecake mix is almost ready because you you always want to put cookie dough in the oven cold. So um, anytime you make cookies, you want to put your dough or make your cookies and then put them on the sheet pan in the refrigerator because you always want to put cookie dough in the oven cold. So uh, that's where we're at, and then when we start the next step, I'll make another video.